what up guys j pops in the house all right so we're pop hunting today for the 10 inch pork and i'm going to use the brickseek app so this is like the first time i'm using it i'm gonna see well i'm gonna let you guys see how i use this and we'll see if it even works all right guys so this is the brickseek app brickseek.com so apparently you can pop in the DPCIs, the UPCs, and see if the store actually has them in stock. So the DPCI I get off of um, Instagram, which I go to Pop Curated's Instagram. Oh, but the picture's aren't even there. I was looking at it earlier. So I go to this guy's Instagram, Pop Curated. He puts up like the UPCs and DPCIs and keeps you up to date on like Funko News, which is pretty cool. So this is the DPCI, this is the UPC. So 32301 let's see if I can remember that. 32301 So going right back to Brickseek. We're going to Target. So we're going to check the Target inventory. You can actually see my camera and the glare. Sorry about this, guys. So Target inventory check. Um, DPCI. And we'll pop in 32301 Whoops. 486. Uh, zip code which would be my zip code, search inventory, and it's going Brickseek, target inventory. This is the 10-inch pour. It lets you know what you get, what you're looking for. So the one closest to me is out of stock. This one here, which is 4.2 miles away, is in stock and then out of stock for the next closest one. Uh, Philly, yeah, we're not going to Philly. Um, so right here, this is the one we're heading to. Look at the traffic. <laughs> That's crazy. It's redonkulous. Oh my lord of mercy. Alright guys, so we finally made it to Target. There was like a lot of traffic. But check out this Target. There's... This is not like the normal Target sign. It's like a dark color. But there's a chance like it might not even be in stock. Because like every inventory tracker sometimes is just is off. So, I mean, let's see if it works, alright? Found a couple pops. Iron Spider, Range Trooper, Captain America. So we finally found the pop section. A couple Mad Max pops. I always like to check these to see if they have like the chases. I found the 11 chase a couple days ago. The rest just looks like regular ones. Looking for like upside down wheel. Black Panther here, Eric Killmonger. Um, wow, they're like really stocked here. I don't see too much here. I got some Iron Man over here. I'm just checking out the pops before I go ask them about that 10-inch pour, guys. I have a DPCI for this. It says that it was in stock, but I don't see it like on the shelves over there. Yeah, here. Uh, let me uh, give me one second to log sure. into this. Let's see. Three, two, three, zero, one, one, four, eight, six. Uh, in the Star Wars section. Do you know what though? I think we have some in the back, so give me a second. Okay, and, yeah, uh, definitely. Look. Cool. Thank you. Do you have keys? Uh, all right, guys. So the employee checked the system, and they're supposed to be here in aisle U23 with all the Star Wars stuff, not like the regular pops. But they're not here. We got it, guys. We got the 10-inch porg. Sweet. All right, let's get on out of here. Beat the traffic, huh? guys we are back home we used the brickseek app or a website to find porg it actually worked he was in stock he wasn't on the floor and he wasn't in the pop section the uh, employee said that he would be in like aisle u23 which was all the star wars toys he wasn't there either but he went to the back he, he got one and he brought the one out so if you guys are out there still looking for the porg Ask the employees um, if the brick seat website shows you that it's in stock. Just ask them. Maybe it's in the back because they didn't have them out on the floor. Let's open this bad boy up. As you can see, box 10 inch. This is, thing is just huge. And I don't know why I'm so excited to have this 10 inch porg. Like, it just looks regular. Um, the box isn't in the best condition. Okay, this is going to be serious. Holy moly. Okay, got him. Oh, cool. They have the little vacuum just like the regular one. The red paper, red cardboard paper in the back of the box. We'll leave that in there for now. So guys, this is just like the regular Porg, the smaller version, only he's life-size. 
this thing is hilarious looking. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea why I wanted this. Oh, he's so cool looking. Look at this. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you guys. Look at the mouth. This thing is crazy looking. And he's still got his bobble. I wonder if he comes off the base. I don't know if he comes off the base. Should I try it? Well, let me show you the rest of him. Regular Star Wars base. Well, no, the Star Wars base is usually down here. The sign on the regular ones. And the, the logo is up here, if you guys can see it. See it there. Um, well, that's the back of him. Looks like the regular Porg. I'll let him focus for you guys so you guys can see Porg in action here. Bob Lard. Let's see if we can take him off the base. Can I take him off the base? I, m I might, like, break him if I take him off the base. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, no, definitely not. Don't take it off the base. Well, you could probably, like, pry it off. Um... But he doesn't come off the base. It would be so cool if he could come off the base like the other ones. But anyway, like the mouth is just hilarious. And that's not the regular one. The Chase actually had the open mouth. So that's actually pretty cool. But I just think his life size, this thing is really cool. All right, guys. So that's it. We hunted down the 10 inch pork. We got him. J Pop signing off. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.